Brave CF-73 in Bogota, Colombia, co-promoted by the Latin Fighter Championship, saw the crowning of a new bantamweight champion. Jose Torres narrowly outpointed in Jose Indubele for the split decision after five rounds of intense back and forth action. Both South Africa's long and rangy striker Indubele and the United States MMA specialist Torres made the long trip to the Coliseo El Salitre to fight for the vacant title, and they put on a show. In the first and second rounds, the king from South Africa used his significant height and size advantage to maul Shorty Torres with knees from the clinch. That was until Torres showed him with a hip toss that there's more to MMA than Muay Thai. By the championship rounds, Indebele was pushing the action again with superior striking until Torres turned it around with yet another hip toss. In the final stanza, the South African started to unload big shots and even scored a takedown of his own. He ended up on top and in a loose triangle, but he was swinging to the end and it went to the judges. After 25 minutes of non-stop action, the scorecards were read out and Torres took the bout with two judges giving him the nod, his 12th professional win, and the coveted Brave ZF bantamweight title. And as an added bonus, he was awarded his BJJ black belt in the process. Other highlights from the night included this right hand from Brazil's Flavio De Caro. The American Zak Makovsky got lazy circling the cage and he paid dearly for it. A few strikes later, and De Caro was celebrating the biggest win of his career. His teammates might have been even more excited than him, though. They were literally falling head over heels. In the Brazil versus Brazil bout of the night, Luis Cardo may have jumped the line to face Poland's welterweight champion, Marcin Bandel. It took just two and a half minutes to finish his compatriot, Wilka Lemos, who was forced to tap just moments before passing out. And in the first fight on the main card, the hometown hero Eduardo Mora pulled off the most important win of his career when he knocked out Trinidad and Tobago's Caron Bourne in the first round of their bantamweight bout. It was a slobber knocker from start to finish, but the spinning back elbow overhand right to hooks combination was just outstanding. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.